The U.S. government, through its National Endowment for Democracy, has recently updated its list of opposition groups that it is funding here inside of Thailand. But before we talk about that, what is the National Endowment for Democracy? Now, despite the word democracy being in its name, that is just something that it hides its actual agenda of political meddling and regime change behind. To prove this, all we have to do is go to the NED's official website and look at its board of directors. Who are these people and what do they do? We will find people like Elliot Abrams. This is a man who helped cover up US-backed death squads massacring people in Latin America. In 2003, he helped promote the US invasion of Iraq. Since then, he has led efforts in the attempted overthrow of the Venezuelan and Iranian governments. There are also people like Scott Carpenter. He was literally part of the US occupation of Iraq. He was part of the Coalition Provisional Authority. This was the government the U.S. set up after it murdered or imprisoned everyone in the actual Iraqi government, but before they handpicked the client regime that would take its place. These are people who are guilty of some of the worst crimes against humanity of the 21st century. That's who runs the National Endowment for Democracy. So who are these people in Thailand taking money from people like this? Here is the new list, Thailand 2020. If you want to see the Thailand 2019 list, you will find this 404 page not found link. You can use Wayback Machine and you can still access the old list and then you can compare the amounts of money that these opposition groups were getting before with the amount of money they're getting now. And you will notice that they're all getting a significant raise from the US government. Uh, this includes Prachatai, who's getting an extra 20,000 US dollars. Ila is getting an extra 4,000 US dollars. Thai Poor Act, also known as the Assembly of the Poor, is getting an extra 22,000 US dollars. And 101% is getting an extra 100,000 US dollars. And despite this pay raise, if you go to websites like Prachatai, uh, this is their Thai language website, you will notice that they have this pop-up down here begging ordinary people for donations. And just a note, Project Thai's Thai language website has never disclosed to their Thai readers the fact that they receive millions and millions of Thai bot every single year from foreign governments to run their website. They have never told them that. Instead, they beg them for donations. It just kind of shows you what sort of organization Prachatai really is and the mindset of the people running it, the lack of transparency that they demonstrate versus the transparency they are always demanding of the government. I also want to show you one of the new organizations listed on the US NED's website receiving US government funding. And this one is Punch Up World Company Limited. And it says to provide the public with independent information and analysis of critical socio political issues, to inform public debates, and promote civic participation. They're getting 61 US, 61,000 US dollars plus an extra 33. $1,465. This is, this is millions of baht that they're getting to do this project. If we go to their website, Punch Up, and we see who is on their team, we will see people like Tanisara. She is the CEO and co-founder. She's also a journalist over at The Matter. We'll also see people down here with at boonmelab.com email addresses because Punch Up and Boon Me Lab, these are all people working together on the same project. Some of the projects Punch Up is working on is this one, Elect. And this was designed specifically to influence the 2019 general election and every election since then here in Thailand. It is funded by the US government. If you go to the Elect's project's website, they will tell you that this was for the 2019 general election. If you come down here, you will notice Punch Up, Boon Me Lab, and US government funded ILA all listed down here as partners working on this project. 
Elsewhere on the elect's official website, you will see them admit that the National Endowment for Democracy funds this project. If we go to the Boon Me Lab official website, we will see the CEO co-founder is this guy, Titi Luang. Where have we seen him before? We've seen him at this 2017 U.S. Embassy workshop where he was actually working for the U.S. Embassy as a trainer. And he's doing a 30 second pitch for another company of his called Upin. And if you go to the bottom of the Boon Me Lab website, you will see Upin listed there along with Elect and punch up. Because again, it's all part of the same ecosystem of, of US backed, US funded activities. Now, keep in mind UPIN because here is UPIN in 2018 organizing a hackathon for the US backed billionaire opposition leader Tanaton and his future forward party. So the US government is funding projects in Thailand to interfere and influence. Thailand's elections, and they're doing it on behalf of their selected opposition leaders like Tanaton. These companies are being funded money to help give them an advantage in the election. This is election meddling. This is a violation of international law and norms. This is a violation of the UN Charter, which guarantees political independence for every single country on earth, including Thailand. The US has no right to be funding companies, organizations, and programs to try to influence Thailand's elections. It's political interference. It's something the US would never accept another country doing to it, and yet it's doing it to Thailand on a massive scale. It's really hard to tell if the people at Punch Up or Boon Me Lab, if people like Tete Luang have any idea or not uh, that the people running the NED giving them this money are actually war criminals, people responsible for some of the worst crimes against humanity this century, that everywhere else the NED goes, they divide and destroy countries, and that Thailand is not going to be the first country the NED is actually trying to genuinely help. This is why Thailand needs stronger NGO laws to protect the country from people like this, who may or may not know what they're dealing with when they're working with the NED, and to protect these people themselves from the NED, uh, from using them to divide and destroy their own country and to have it stolen out from under them by these special interests in the US hiding behind notions like democracy, free speech, and human rights. I hope this video helps raise the alarm. What the NED is doing is building a parallel society inside of Thailand's borders. They hope that once it gets big enough between organizations, companies, and political parties, they can eventually take this parallel society and place it on top of Thailand's existing institutions, history, culture, and society. And once that happens, Thailand will be transformed from a sovereign country to a client state, a client state that serves US interests at the cost of Thailand and its people. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share it. Please think about subscribing to the channel. It helps the channel grow and it's free to do. Check the video description for all of the links that I talked about in this video and also for ways you can help support my work so that I can keep doing this, like by becoming a Patreon member. And as always, thank you for watching.